Welcome to Ask Al, presented by Quad Plus. Here's the question for today. Do I need to perform maintenance on drives that are in my spare parts stock? The short answer is yes, and here's why. The majority of low voltage AC drives on the market today have electrolytic capacitors installed for DC bus filtering. Now these capacitors you'll find in various lengths, various diameters, and the color of the jacket. Um, different range of value is anywhere from 5,000 microfarads, 10,000 microfarads, and 400 volts to 500 volts. Uh, you'll typically see them configured in pairs and in groups, usually in a bank of, of four, six, or eight capacitors. Now, the next two capacitors I'm going to show you um, failed shortly after they were taken out of an inventory storage and put in service. Now, this first capacitor uh, failed immediately, so as soon as the unit was powered on. And as you can see, there's considerable damage. The ceramic cap has been blown through, so there's a lot of pressure buildup within the capacitor. And there's pieces of metal foil that have come out. And so, you know, not only do you have damage to the capacitor, but the, one of the bigger dangers and, and more costly things is the collateral damage caused by this type of failure. And as you can see in the photo, it, in the top left corner where, you know, there's been considerable damage to circuit boards. Uh, in this case, it also cleared input devices and fuses. Um, so very, very severe failure. Now, this next failure occurred roughly 24 hours after the capacitor was installed, and you can see that the, the foil has actually started to eject from the case, or miraculously, the case was being blown off. So, you know, not only in this case do you have personnel issues, personnel safety issues, but you also have the potential of this cap falling down through the drive and creating even more uh, collateral damage. Now, the interesting thing is if you look into your drive's manuals, uh, and they're usually quite extensive and large, and go to the back in the maintenance side, you will find a section about pre or, uh, reforming your capacitors. Now, what the manufacturers generally say is that anywhere in the six to 18 month range, if your drive has been in storage uh, with no power applied, that you need to reform the capacitors before you apply full voltage. So what's going on here? And to understand is really, let's look at some of the capacitor basics. To create a capacitor, it's quite simple. You get two plates, uh, put a charge across them, and bring them close together so with an insulator between them, so it could be a piece of paper. So in the case of modern capacitors, they use two pieces of foil uh, with an insulating paper. The amount of capacitance is directly proportional to the area. So if you have a very large sheet of foil and then inversely proportional to the distance between the foil. So what you want is very large area and the two pieces of foil very close together. And so what manufacturers do is they get the foils together and then roll them up. And that's where you get the traditional round shape of the capacitor. Now to pack even more capacitance into the capacitor, they replace the paper, the insulating paper, with an oxide layer. So you've got an insulator that's only molecules thick. Now the thickness of that uh, molecule layer determines the voltage rating of the capacitor. There's also an electrolyte that's placed in, so now you've got this great package, very dense, of two conductors separated by literally molecules of, of an oxide layer. Here's the problem. Over time, that oxide layer will become uneven, it degrades over time. And if you apply full voltage to the capacitor all at once, you may have an area where it's been depleted and you'll actually punch through because the capacitor just can't support blocking that level of voltage. For a capacitor that's in service, there's a chemical process that happens within the cap where it's continually replenishing that oxide layer so you don't have a problem. When it's on the shelf uh, is where the problems start. And so what you do is you reform the capacitor. And as I mentioned earlier, that you do that by applying a controlled current over a period of time and allow the voltage to slowly rise. This gives the capacitor time to replenish that oxide layer. Once the reforming is completed, you can put the capacitor immediately into service. So the answer to the question is yes. Because of the electrolytic capacitor, you do need to perform maintenance on your spares. Quad Plus offers a mobile cap reforming service where you can rent the equipment from us and perform the reforming yourself. We provide all the instructions or we can have an engineer come out to your site and perform the work for you. For more information or if you'd like to suggest a topic for a future video, 
just send an email to al at quadplus.com. And remember, always work safe, lockout, tag out. Thank you for watching.